Sometimes two compounds in solution react to produce a new solution and an insoluble product in what is called a precipitation reaction. To demonstrate this, we need mercury chloride to make a saturated solution, potassium iodide to make another saturated solution, and a magnetic bar and stirrer. Now let's see how mercury chloride and potassium iodide solutions react to form an insoluble precipitate. In a fume cupboard, we place saturated potassium iodide solution on the magnetic stirrer and drop the magnetic bar into the beaker, then centre it. We turn on the stirrer and adjust the speed so that a vortex forms in the centre of the beaker. Next, we take some mercury chloride solution Using a bulb pipette, we add it directly into the vortex. An orange precipitate forms within the vortex and then vanishes. When we introduce more mercury chloride, the cycle continues. We've demonstrated a precipitation reaction between potassium iodide and mercury chloride. We use a magnetic stirrer at a high speed to create a vortex so that the reaction can be seen clearly. The potassium iodide solution is kept moving in a vortex. Small amounts of mercury chloride are added using a bulb pipette and a solid mercury iodide precipitate forms. Let's look more closely at what happens. When salts like potassium iodide and mercury chloride are dissolved in water, they dissociate into ions, which carry a positive or negative charge. Oppositely charged ions attract each other, so the mercury and iodide ions bond to form mercury iodide, which is an orange solid. We can see the mercury iodide forming as it precipitates out of solution. With potassium and iodide ions left in the solution, another reaction now occurs. These excess ions react with the mercury iodide precipitate to produce yet another compound, potassium tetraiodomercurate. This new compound is colourless and soluble, and so the orange tornado vanishes almost as soon as it forms. Water treatment plants use chemical treatments to remove specific ions from solution. 
The reactions target particular toxic ions, such as lead, and remove them from solution by precipitation. They form solids, which can be filtered out, leaving the final product free of any toxic ions.